What is up guys welcome back to another FIFA Ultimate Team video today we'll be looking at player moments Lee Sane SBC in celebration of his decisive goal against Liverpool in the 1819 campaign he is a 91 rated left winger he looks very good let's see exactly what he has to offer he has a high attack medium defense work rate i think this is the best of both worlds when it comes to wingers that high medium combination while well, high low attack defense work rates is good and medium low attack defense work rates is good me personally i like seeing the high medium skill moves four stars is good weak foot three stars isn't great but it's okay in terms of his pace phenomenal pace 96 acceleration 99 sprint speed it's brilliant Shooting stats very nicely well rounded. Uh, while his penalties is a bit weak, I don't think that really matters. Passing stats really nicely well rounded. Again, long pass, don't think that's going to be too much of an issue with it being at 70. Dribbling stats again, nicely well rounded. Um, reaction is 86, composure 85 is pretty good as well. So I think this is a very, very good card. Defensive stats wise, not really that interested in. And physically, he's got stamina of 88, which is good. Strength of 79 is good. And his aggression of 68 is meh. And his traits, he has a power free kick and he has flair. So overall, this Lee Wee Sina card looks very, very good. And in order to complete him, you need four squads. Those four squads are one German player, team of the week, 84 rated squad. The 75 chem and in return you get a prime electron players pack you need one manchester city player in an 85 rated squad with a 70 chem rating to get a rare mixed players pack then you need one premier league player in an 86 rated squad to get a rare electron players pack and then you need one 87 rated squad with 60 chem to get a mega pack in return at least these are all tradable packs it's pretty bog standard now what you have to do and all in all i think this could be really good value especially for a card that doesn't expire and is in my opinion going to be worth the grind in getting it's currently coming in according to footbin at this point in time at 603 thousand coins and around about 590 thousand coins on xbox all in all that's pretty good value on either console um Am I going to try and grind for this card? You know what? I am going to try and grind for this card. I think he's an exceptional card. He has a lot to offer. And yeah, there's really not a lot to not like here when achieving and gaining this card. In terms of chemistry styles, I think the three best ones are going to be Deadeye, Maestro and Marksman for him. My personal favourite out of these chem styles for him though is going to have to be Marksman. The reason I'm choosing Marksman is while... His pace is already phenomenal. I think his passing stats are really good in the places they need to be. And I'm not really too fussed about maxing those out to be best. But his shooting stats become exceptional. His positioning goes up to a 97. Finishing will be 99. Shot power is 99. Long shots 95. Volley is 99. His penalties become 83. His dribbling stats also get a nice boost. His reactions goes up to 91. His agility goes up to 97. Ball control becomes 95 and his dribbling becomes 99. And he also gets a little nice boost on physicality as well, bringing his strength up to 84 and his aggression up to 73. Which all in all, I think are some nice little boosts that will make him really, really good within game. Alright guys, well that's going to do it for today's video. I've hoped you enjoyed it. I'm going to try my best to get this Louis Rui Sane card, but as you can imagine, it's going to take me some time to get it. But please leave your comments below. Let me know what you think of this particular player moment Sane card. I think it'll be a great investment for any of you guys that want to do him. And please also remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll check you guys out. Laters.